All right. So this problem, we've got, so this all this you know discussion about well, we've got some laser and there's input variables controlled by the operator of the laser. All that stuff is just observing that this is a real world situation. But ultimately, what the problem is asking is we've got some function where the input variables are t and phi and theta, and the output is x comma y. Right? And we've got a formula for this function. It's the formula given there. And I want to know how fast is this changing, right? Uh, if we start off with certain values of these parameters and change these parameters with a certain velocity. In other words, we're trying to compute exactly a directional derivative. So we're going to be interested in the directional derivative. Um, now we're at this point. Let me just call it... Um, hang on a second. Um, we're going to be at the point A, where, by the way, A is... Um, 5 and then pi over 4 and pi over 3 and we've got a velocity vector that's given by 1, 3, negative 2 and so that's the V and that's the A and we just want to compute that directional derivative does it make sense? So now, of course, we have a definition. Do you want me to go through the details? Or does this make sense at this point? Sure. Okay, sure. So, so the definition, of course, is that this is, we're going to take the derivative with respect to time. Eventually, at the moment when, uh, oh, now, slight awkwardness, t is um, one of the input variables here. And so I, I, better not, I better not parameterize with respect to t because t is already a variable here. So, so that, that's going to make this a little awkward. So let, let me just do, we'll parameterize with respect to S, whatever, doesn't matter. So S is equal to zero is when we're going to eventually plug in. But we're going to be looking at F of A plus SV. So here's our parametric line that starts at A, moving with velocity V. I'm looking at the values of the function and seeing how those are changing with respect to S when S is equal to zero. So, okay, so we've got... Um, Derivative with respect to s. Um, let's see here. Well, it's going to be f of 5 plus s pi over 4 plus 3s uh, pi over 3 minus 2s. Right, so that's our x. That's our y. That's our oh uh, excuse me excuse me excuse me that's our that's our t uh, phi and that's our theta thank you for catching me there yeah okay so now we plug this into our f function that we have a formula for it's sitting up there in the statement of the problem and it, okay maybe I'll punt at this point there's a tedium etc but this is just you know just calculate and remember to you know parameterize you got to just to avoid confusing variables you don't want that and this to look the same, so you just choose S here instead of T, whatever. Yeah. Is it all right? Okay, let me wrap this up here.